Hello everyone and welcome to Retail Archaeology. Today we'll be visiting Sweetie's Candy in Chandler, Arizona on the hunt for candy and products from Neko, the New England confectionery company. But you probably mostly know them for Neko wafers, those little kind of chalky fruit candy tab things. So if you weren't aware, uh, Neko is in danger of going away. Uh, they recently announced that if a buyer's not found for the company, they're going to lay off most of their employees in May. And this has kind of created a stampede, I guess, for Neko products. So I figured I should take my daughter and go look for some. But of course, I got distracted by the soda section because soda and the Martian poop and zit pop juice. That's gross. Anyways, this is the soda section of Sweeties. And Sweeties is a huge candy store in Chandler, Arizona, and it's one of my favorite places. And uh, here's some Fago in the soda section. But uh, we need to go look for Neko stuff. Like I said, stories like from NPR and stuff said it was hard to find Neko stuff in stores because people were stampeding for it since it was going away and a lot of people are nostalgic for it. But we, believe it or not, didn't have much trouble finding any Neko stuff. Here's some of the uh, candy buttons, candy that they make, and we grabbed some of this. I'm sure you guys all remember that stuff. There it is, Neko candy, candy buttons. And then here's even more stuff. Here's all the Neko wafers and yeah, we didn't have a hard time finding it at all. So um, if you're looking for Neko stuff and you can't find it at your regular like retailers, find a candy shop in your area. I'm sure you'll find it. These are my personal favorite, the chocolate ones. These I had not seen before. These were called uh, slapsticks, and they look like some sort of like caramel pops. We're going to grab those, I think. I'm not sure if any of this other stuff was Neko. I don't think it was, but it was kind of hard to read. You see they got the little sample size ones down there. And they have a tropical flavor, which I'd never had before. Yeah, definitely want to grab some of these to try and they had some larger sized ones right above it you can see here didn't didn't need any that big though but that was kind of cool there's a size comparison and they had sour ones which i'd never seen before but i don't like sour stuff and neither does my kid and then clark bar that's another thing people don't realize is a neko item lots of nostalgic candy here but uh, since we had like really no hard time finding the Neko stuff, I figure we should take a look at the rest of the candy shop. I'm sure you guys would be annoyed if I didn't show you guys around. There's lots of great stuff here. I love this store. Now, I'm not sure what these are. They say they're iced chocolate. It's weird. But these, I know what these are. Charms. I love Charms candy. Definitely going to grab some of these. So a little bit more history on Neko itself. Um, Neko was founded in 1901 as a conglomerate of several confectionery companies in New England. And uh, they've been operating ever since. And Neko wafers, which is one of the things you're probably most familiar with, is um, I believe one of their first products. And uh, some people love them and some people hate them. I actually like them. Now here's a bunch of uh, Big League Chew. I love this stuff. And they actually had grape Big League Chew, which I made sure to grab some of that. And here's a bunch of like Nintendo stuff, little novelty mints and things like that. And uh, holy shit, here's some Bob Ross, Bob Ross mints. I, I was going to grab these, but I'm pretty sure they're just generic Altoids in there. Back to uh, Neko for a minute, though. Um, Neko was actually purchased by a company called Airs Capital, which I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly hopefully in 2016 and with a name like that heirs capital i'm sure that has nothing to do with the situation that they're in right now uh here's some pop rocks i love pop rocks they had tons of different kinds here
All kinds of little novelty, like punchy things and mechanically operated little candy things. A monkey here, for example. <laughs> a monkey making a monkey clap. <laughs> Now down here was something I've never seen before. This is um, like a little text messenger thing that lets you print messages out, um, but instead of on like labels, on candy tape. That's kind of interesting and gross sounding at the same time. <laughs> and then holy crap, World War II foam airplanes. I used to buy these from the ice cream man when I was a kid for like 50 cents and it looks like they're about the same price here now. And they look just like this too, like the packaging and everything. I don't think this is, this hasn't changed since I was like 11 years old. This is awesome. Made sure to definitely grab a few of these. It's really hard to not feel like an 11 year old running around here. And what do we have here? A whole wall of Kinder Egg style things, but not actual Kinder Eggs. I, there's that whole thing about Kinder Eggs being not legal in the United States, but here's a whole bunch of the same thing, basically. I was going to make a joke about this place being every dentist's worst nightmare, but it might actually be every dentist's dream. That's a lot of money in filled cavities there. Oh look, candy cigarettes. I mean, candy sticks. <laughs> I don't call them cigarettes anymore. Tons of Laffy Taffy. I like Laffy Taffy. That's something else I used to get from the Snow Command quite a bit. They had like individual pieces for a nickel or a dime or something. And that is lemon heads, cherry heads, every kind of heads candy you can think of right there. That's awesome too. I love that stuff. That's some classic candy. And my wife found these. These are like Nerds and Pixie Sticks and Fun Dip, but there's some interesting flavors here. We grabbed the, the Fun Dip, and they were actually pretty good. Kind of wish we would have grabbed the Nerds, but we didn't. Can always come back for them, though. And then here's their uh, little Japanese section, which is nice, but I wish it was a little bit bigger. Of course, you've got your obligatory high chews and all kinds of different flavors. And there were some Pocky Sticks. And then this is one of my favorite things, and I'm actually eating these right now while I'm working on this video, are these little rice candies, and we got these for free because we grabbed some Pocky Sticks while we were over here too. And uh, of course, toilet candy because Japan. <laughs> Then here's a large Jelly Belly display. And there's just as much on the other side of it as well. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't film it because it was very busy and I didn't, I didn't want to film a bunch of people, but lots of Jelly Belly stuff. And then you've got to have your weird Arizona candy section, like the cactus candy and stuff. Stuff that you buy and, and take home to your relatives when you visit Arizona. And then right on the other side of that, they have the other weird candy, like the stuff with worms and crickets and things in it. Worm suckers. Tequila flavored ones with the worm in it. You got cricket suckers, scorpions. And then just all kinds of chocolate covered and sugared bugs and weird things. Should do another video on these, maybe try some of these out. But we're going to stick to trying out the Neko stuff since this is a video on Neko. Which again, very sad that they might be going away as early as May. That's pretty sad. Now I'm not sure what these are, and, and we didn't get these, and when I was going back and watching the footage, I'm kind of regretting not grabbing some, so I probably will the next time I'm here. I 
I love candies from other countries. That's one of my favorite things. And actually, a lot of this stuff growing up in Arizona, we just you just eat this stuff anyways. Like these little things here, for example. This was something my uh, local ice cream man carried in his truck all the time and we used to get. Man, so much good stuff. So many cavities. <laughs> now these kind of things, I've never tried these before and I should. Maybe next time. Like Lucas and this stuff on the other hand, I'm very familiar with. We used to eat that stuff as kids. We used to get it again from the Snowco Manor. We had a water and ice that had um, a candy section and they had a lot of this stuff as well. I don't know if that's an Arizona thing, just like water and ice, like stores that also have candy and ice cream and stuff. And of course they have a whole aisle dedicated to lollipops and blow pops and I love blow pops and here's one that I haven't seen in a very long time, the black cherry blow pop. I'm a huge sucker, no pun intended, well, little pun intended, <laughs> huge sucker for anything black cherry so I made sure to grab one of those. So many suckers and lollipops. And then we're kind of getting onto like their bulk candy area, which this is like all the gold chocolate coins and stuff. But there was th these I found particularly interesting. This could make for a very, very tasty game of poker. I've never seen that before, poker chip ones. And there's some huge coins right there. And uh, here's about 1,200 years worth of those giant jawbreakers. I don't think I ever finished one of these when I was a kid. They would take forever. Here's a wider shot of some of their bulk candy where they sell it like by the pound or whatever. Did you see any like classic candies that you're nostalgic for? While we were taking a look at the store, let me know what those are down in the comments below. I, I love candy. <laughs> and there's just so many different things here from all over the United States and, and from the world, too. Here's some prepackaged bulk candy. This place really is like every kid's dream. I don't know if places like this existed when I was a kid, but I think my parents were smart not to take me into them if they did. <laughs> if you can check out Sweeties in Chandler, Arizona, I would highly recommend doing so. This is a fantastic store. It's a great place to get things like, you know, candy for Christmas or Easter or goodie bags or whatever. Now this was interesting, found a whole section of like, this is all gummy food. So that's a pizza all made out of gummy candy. They had sushi, burritos, all kinds of weird stuff. Take a closer look here at some of it. It was kind of amazing how intricate some of these were. There's a gummy sushi and gummy barbecue set. It's really cool. Never seen anything like that before. And here's some of those styrofoam planes and parachute men and all that stuff you used to buy from the ice cream man when you were a kid, you know, for a quarter. This is at the uh, front of the store, and I took this shot as we were checking out with our haul of tons of stuff, but let's try some of the Neko stuff. All right, so here's all the uh, Neko stuff that we picked up at Sweeties. We got the regular old school Neko wafers. We've got, uh, what are these? Tropical Neko. And then we got some of these slapsticks caramel things. So what do you, you want to try first? Oh, and then the chocolate Neko, which are my, my favorite. 
the chocolate neck off. You want to try the neck chocolate? Okay. Actually, this full size one we're not going to do because that's for grandma. You guys can try a chocolate one. Mm. What do you think? Really good. It's really good? Yeah. Yeah, these are my favorite. Okay. You want to try the tropical first? Yeah. Okay. I've never tried the tropical. They are kind of chalky though. It's been a long time since I've had the chocolate ones even. What do you want? Orange? You want to try orange, yellow, pink? Pink. You want to try pink? I'm going to try yellow. Hmm. I think the yellow is supposed to be banana. Maybe this is supposed to be strawberry or something, strawberry or cherry, because it actually kind of tastes like both. Hmm. These aren't very, these are okay, but they're not very sweet. Mm, that one was good. You want to try a regular one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that a chocolate one or a grape one in the regular one? I can't tell. You want to try a green one or? Good. Yeah. I try a pink one. Mmm. The brown one tastes like root beer, I think. Mmm. That's pretty good. We almost forgot something. Almost. These are also Neko. These are the old fashioned candy buttons. These I remember from my childhood too. Um, we bought a bunch of stuff at the candy shop and not all of it was was Neko, so we almost forgot about this. You want to try some? There's a lot in there too, like on both sides. Yeah. All right. Let's try a few of these real quick, Sugar Queen. <laughs> oh my gosh, you want to feel? Like what? Hold on, hold on. So there's two sheets in there of buttons. You know how these work? Yeah, you pop them off. Oh, you've had these before, huh? Well, my friend let me um, have one of hers at school. I, I did like these as a kid. They kind of remind me, they taste like cake decorations. Mmm, you're right. You know what I mean? Like the hard plastic yeah. candy thing. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> you're like, mmm, as many as we can really quick. That, it's like one of those things, I, not, what's your favorite color? Um, my like favorite one's not color enough. is purple and sea. Purple and what? Purple and sea green. Sea green? Yeah. It's not really on here, but... No, no, I'm talking about your... <laughs> your favorite color of the... Of these, of the old-fashioned candy buttons. Pink. Pink's your favorite? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go back on to the other stuff now. So the chocolate ones we like. You like the chocolate one? Yeah. I already knew I did. I'm not a huge fan of the tropical ones, but the regular ones are actually pretty good. I don't know what people complain about. I think the tropical ones are just... Alright, what do you want to finish it with the uh, slapsticks caramel? Yeah. I've never had one of these before. Well, um... I um, honestly think that the tropical had a little bit more flavor than the regular one. Really? Like, they almost taste the same, but I felt like it had more flavor. So, that's actually not, like that pink was not on the wrapper. It's like pink stuff all mixed into that. Mm. Mm. Let's just do one. Okay. Let's just show one. Mm. Mm. That's a big bite, kid. <laughs> mm. <laughs> what do you mean? That's really good. That's actually pretty good. I don't normally like stuff like this. It's super chewy, but it's not sticking to my teeth. Yeah. And it's it's sweet. Mm, that's good. That might be my favorite thing. If you're out looking for Neko stuff and see the slapsticks, caramel little lollipop things, get that. That's good. 
I would skip the tropical, definitely get the chocolate and the regular though. What do you think? Uh, I would get the tropical. Cause, like I would get the tropical, the chocolate, and the regular. I just think they're all really good. You like them all? So hey look, there's an eight-year-old that likes the Necco wafers that doesn't think they're just chalky awfulness. I like them too, so. Um, if you're having trouble finding them, look at your local candy shops if you have a place like Sweeties, because um, I guess people are having a hard time finding them at the store, but like you saw in the video, we found tons of Necco stuff at the store. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Mm. <laughs> That's good. Cool. Yeah. Want to see your name here? Head on over to patreon.com slash retailarchaeology to find out how you can help support the channel. Hey, thanks for watching my video on uh, Neko Candies and Sweeties in Chandler, Arizona. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons and also follow at the social media links there because that's the best way to keep up with what's going on with the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.